When talking about space, we often discuss space exploration and what we can learn from the universe. Now we're looking into space solutions and more precisely how to use the immense input from satellites to create a new breed of situational awareness systems. Systems that help us know what surrounds us, which could benefit everybody. The use of satellites, not as transmitters, but as remote cameras and radars, has rapidly expanded in the last couple of years, and will do so even more in the coming 10 years. We even talk about the space around our planet being too crowded. That's why we at Saab are looking into two specific solutions within the near future. How to use satellite data and how to keep track of the objects orbiting our planet. Let's focus on satellite data and how we can make the most of it. First, the evolution of satellites has been amazing. What used to be large and heavy vessels with no or very little ability to send high resolution pictures from space is now small cubes. Some weigh only about five kilograms, but others are a bit bigger but have outstanding picture quality. Even more important, you do not have to be military superpower to send a satellite into space, since the cost has gone down substantially. Today, we have about 1,800 active commercial satellites in space. In 10 years, we'll have five times as many. We at Saab are creating a hub for gathering satellite data from all over space, a platform where you will have all this information in one interface. A user of this platform can subscribe to various satellite feeds, who together could, for example, provide a full and continuously updated image of a desired area. By using multiple sources for your satellite data, you can actually track the movement of vessels or objects. And the more feeds you gather data from, the more accurate you can be. Here's an example. Say a user is monitoring the Swedish island of Gotland. If he or she subscribes to a few satellite feeds inside this interface, it would give an updated satellite picture of activity in the area a few times a day. If the same user chooses to subscribe to many satellites through our interface, he or she could have a near real-time updated visual of the area. The more feeds, the more up-to-date picture. But using the platform is not only about monitoring the current activity of a specific area. It's about drawing conclusions based on data over time. AI technology helps detecting recurring objects in a picture. Let's have a look at the simulation of a ship, for example. As you can see, it is now positioned in the Adriatic Sea. Then this vessel has been identified once we can give it its own profile inside the system. Here's the information we have on this ship. Origins, size, type, and activity. Available every time it appears in a picture. As you can imagine, this technology of auto detection gives huge advantages. We have commercial and civil ones. For example, it would help shipping companies to identify the movement of icebergs in the Atlantic Ocean or give firefighters a supreme overview on a wildfire. Some retailers are even using satellite footage of their parking lots to observe customer behavior. But there's obviously also military applications, like detecting reconnaissance patterns in a potential enemy. So what makes this a smart solution? This interface is not just a digital binder for your satellite imagery. It's the one platform for big data on situational awareness. This is because it will be totally integrable with any system. You can co-run it with your radar equipment to enhance and prolong your sight. It can collect radar or ESM tracks, detection systems that listens to electromagnetic radiation, and correlate them with the AIS, which is the open position data from vessels in the sea, or a similar position system for aircraft. By filtering out the vessels which transmit AIS, 
you can of course also detect the ones who deliberately don't. You can spot the ones who do not want to be spotted. We are on the edge of making a technological leap. By introducing our platform, we look forward to help drive business by monitoring customer patterns, help authorities foresee emergency situations, among many purposes. Basically, data is the new crude oil. Machine learning is our refinery and our service. That is, our platform is a gas station. As shown, big data via satellite open up for opportunities, and we will see more space-based monitoring going forward. It's not a development that everyone feels comfortable with. But actually, this kind of simplification based on open information democratizes data. Instead of the very few having access to it, more people will. And that helps us live up to our purpose, keeping people and society safe.